Hello and welcome to part three of our four part series about launching and managing a business in only 15 minutes a day to allow you to start a new business alongside your busy schedule. The Serial Entrepreneur Podcast, hosted by Startup Stream CEO Eddie Eastman. Let's continue right now with day 16 create a Twitter account. Twitter is a fantastic way to keep a running commentary about your business as you can project short snippets of your company's activity to potential customers. Remember that social media is in fact social, so make sure that you are actively engaging on the platform as well, which means retweeting, liking, and commenting on other people's posts. Make sure the pages you interact with are on brand. Start a Twitter account today, again keeping the name similar to your company, then fill in the required fields of information to finish setting up your account. Day 17. Content is king. Today we are starting a blog post. Setting up a blog is fantastic as it can both educate potential customers about your services as well as bring organic traffic to your website from search engines like Google. All startup stream stores on Shopify come with a built-in blogging engine, meaning that you can set up a blog effortlessly. Decide what your first post should be about. You will want to concentrate on something which is interesting, attention-grabbing, and relates to your business. There's a call to action at the end to focus customers towards your product. Once you have the theme and title in mind, structure the content of the blog post, and we shall spend the next three days writing the blog post. Plan no more than three paragraphs with inclusion at the end. Spend your time today brainstorming only. Day 18, write the intro and first paragraph. Start your blog post today with an introduction to your topic. You want your blog post to respond to a problem with a solution, which of course you sell. And make sure that you are speaking to the customer. Also, focus on the language you use. Will you be formal or informal? How does it match your brand? You are tuned in to the Startup Stream Serial Entrepreneur Podcast with Startup Stream CEO, Eddie Eastman. Day 19, continuing with the blog post. Today, we're going to write the second and third paragraph. Spend today writing the two additional paragraphs, the core section of your content, and make sure that each paragraph attends a problem solved by your solution. We recommend using the point, example, explain writing technique to help your content flow. Day 20. Today we're going to write the conclusion for the blog post with a call to action. Finish your blog post today and make sure that you sum up your key points with the ending pointing towards your product as the solution to your customer's problem. Here, you can link to your product and that is how to do content marketing. If you do find yourself with extra time, I recommend circling back to improve the SEO of your store by interjecting keywords. You can go to startupstreams.com right now to find out more about SEO. Day 21. Today we're going to finish the blog post, proofread and publish. They say that your best proofreading is done after you hit send. So make sure that you read through the work, fact check any figures you used, and when you're ready, hit publish. Rinse and repeat this formula for making more blog articles. You could aim for two to four articles a month, or of course you could outsource to cost-effective article authors on freelancing platforms like Fiverr or even Upwork. Learn how to launch, manage, and grow multiple businesses with Startup Stream CEO, Eddie Eastman. Day 22. Now that we've got the blog post sorted, we're now going to make a discount code to entice people to buy. To aid your big launch, you may consider making a discount code for people to buy your products. You can create hype around your product by limiting the amount of discount codes available. With Shopify, it is super easy to make a discount code. You can choose to offer a money off discount or a percentage discount. You can choose which products you want the discount code to apply to and can choose how many times each discount can be redeemed. I recommend making multiple discount codes, at least one for each social media account you have, and add it before any links to your store to help you track where the sales are coming from. Day 23. Today, we're going to set up a competition. One of the best ways to create a buzz around a new launch is a competition. You can use competitions to collect data from potential customers, and then you can send a discount voucher to every entrant who didn't win to divert potential customers towards your store. 
At Startup Streams, we use a service called Gleam, which is great, although it's slightly expensive when you're just starting out. But you should be able to find some free alternatives, or at least a cheaper alternative, on the Shopify App Store. With any Startup Stream store, you have digital products to sell, which means that the competition prizes cost you nothing. You can also use a competition to cross-promote by contacting other companies in your niche to see if they want to offer a prize as well, and share the competition with their pre-existing social media audiences. And that takes us to the end of day 23. To continue listening, to find out the last seven steps, make sure that you subscribe to the Startup Streams Serial Entrepreneur Podcast on your favorite podcast platform or by visiting startupstreams.com. Thanks for listening. Listen to more episodes on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, YouTube, and at startupstreams.com right now.